Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Zach Randolph. And in all honesty, or I said Pink Diamond, Galaxy Opal Zach Randolph. Junkyard Dog is a card that I am just incredibly excited to use, man. Because on paper, he looks phenomenal. And also, I'm a big Zach Randolph fan. I was a huge fan of his in real life. He was an awesome player to watch in the NBA. Um, and big, big fan of Zebo. So excited to see him get a good card here in my team. And this card really does look phenomenal. It looks like really the best Zebo card we ever gotten in my team at least for how good he is compared to other cards in his position six foot nine can play small forward really versatile interesting card and i'm excited to try him out before we hop into the video number one massive shout out to my boy anthony for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay really appreciate that and also if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the twenty five thousand subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it zebo is 99 offense 99 defense six foot nine like i said 94 out driving layup 90 95 post game 96 mid range 91 three ball 85 striving and 95 standing dunk 86 ball handle 85 pass sack 97 block 95 interior 90 steel 92 perimeter 95 offensive and 97 defensive rebounding 93 speed 92 ball 86 excel 95 vert 98 straight 95 stamina 91 lateral quickness i mean he looks really good bunch of hoffs include i mean very well routed hoffs as well he's got a bunch of interior badges he's got hoff limitless and even uh blinders agent three catch and shoot like he's got everything man anchor post lockdown rebound chase brick wall precision dunker speed booster removable enforcer the one thing that he is missing is gold or i'm sorry hall of fame perimeter defensive badges so the perimeter defensive badges are basically all on gold that's about the only thing to complain about also should add like bailout break starter handles for his hyperdrive that's about it just to upgrade the playmaking ability but definitely want to get those badges on him outside of that though i do truly believe this card is going to be really really good i'm just realizing we have the wrong we don't have a, a, a logo in here i gotta just put a random random logo in here real quickly as a filler and and let's get in here and check out Mr. Randolph's animations. Honestly, that's going to be the main question for me. How are his SIGs? How does he move? And oh, he moves really nice. I actually knew he moved nice, though. Look at his player build. Very bulky player build. Kobe escape. Uh, Trey Young behind the back. That is going to get the job done for sure. Good same side burst, too. Oh, yeah. Zach Randolph is tough. The one thing he is not tough at, though. That release is kind of mid. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm shooting on I'm shooting on set point, too. I'm shooting on a quicker release timing, and it's still a little bit slower. I'm going to be honest. That is going to hurt this card because everything else is awesome. He's got SIGs. He's got it behind the back. He's well-rounded. He can move. He's very large. Um, behind the back is nice. Athletically, he will be very good, I'm sure, as well. The one problem is going to be the release, and that will hold him back as a card, at least in some areas. This card is really feeling fast, though, moving phenomenally well. I mean, this is certainly not the way Zebo played in real life, but I still think this card's going to be a stud. And, I mean, release is easy enough to time, without a doubt. It's just not super fast, but he's still one of the better small forwards in the game, especially that you can get for free with this caliber of movement, as well as defensive ability, athleticism, and size. Like, really interesting card who, I mean, the release is smooth enough. You can get it down. You shouldn't have too many of an issue many issues he's going to be an interesting card and a pretty good one so let's hop into a game let's see what zebo can do all right hopping into this game we're going to be well tested here to see um what mr randolph can do he's got opal harden i don't know who else he has on his team to be completely honest but opal james harden is a very solid card rest of his team ain't looking too crazy first pop wide open easy bucket oh that's lamar odom okay so he's got opal lamar that's a good card. Opal Harden. Interesting. Does, is that AI at the two? That that makes no sense to me at all. Running AI at the two makes zero sense. So I don't know if that's correct or not. But, oh, that is. Pink Diamond Allen Iverson. I think that's exactly who that is. And I think that's Danny Granger or Rudy Gay. In the, is that Danny Granger or Rudy Gay at the four? I don't even know. I can't tell based on his team exactly who everyone is. And I didn't look at it when it popped up earlier. So, you know what? It just is what it is. Whoever he's got out here is who he's got out here. Whoever he's got out here is who we're going to have to cook. And Zebo two wide open three-point shots to start off the game. Catch and shoot. This dude's just not playing the pop. We get ourselves an easy three ball off. Very, very nice. Couple of easy buckets to start off the game is obviously not a bad start x switch this here play the slip uh step up personally if he greens that that's just a tough shot gets the put back to go it is a galaxy opal somebody i think that's danny granger i'm not entirely sure though um good bucket i guess let's see what we can get going here drag back behind the back very nice pop again now we go same side burst to try to attack downhill between the oh he has kobe escape i gotta i gotta remember that for sure um He's getting a little tired, though. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to reset the ball up top. Let another let another ball handler go to work. Dot the corner. Catch. Shoot. Can I get that off? I cannot. Force that with Beasley. I'm not going to lie. Or sorry, not with Beasley, with Randolph. Um, this Zebo card is interesting to me because he does everything well, but his release is not very good. 
And I don't know if that kind of kills the card, but I think it might. At this point in the year, like, I think I like Rodman's release, so I did gameplay with yesterday better than I like this uh, this Randolph release so far. Nice fade. Pretty easy open shot, but it's a slightly early because upper isn't great, and it slows down the jump shot. Same. Oh, that one's just way too far. That's No, that was very early. I could tell that one was off from the beginning. I'm not loving his jump shot animation, man. I think that really might be the thing that kills this card, too, which is a real shame to say because... Everything else about him is so good, but his jumper is booty cheeks, and you can't, it's hard to get away with a really, really bad jump shot. You can get away with a not very good one, especially when you are like, for example, a Rodman, who is a great, great dominant defender. I think you can get away to a certain extent with him having a bad jumper. I did not get a post-spin move the way that I was trying to there. That was very annoying. Uh, but you know what? At this point in the game, we might just be kind of just kind of, we might just be in a tough situation. Look at Zach Randolph. Never mind. Make a play then. Spin for me. Reset it up top. Uh, I'm quick slipping the screen because he's an athlete. Let's go get inside. Yo, what are you doing? <sighs> I didn't even mean to shoot the ball. Number one, that was a pump fake. Number two, what is that animation that he gets away from the rim and he throws it down for a slip and gets himself a dunk, takes a four point lead. This Zach Randolph card just can't shot create for himself at all, I don't think. I mean, he's got good SIGs, but he's not a threat as a shooter, and therefore he's really not a threat in most areas. Hard off-ball defense, not much you can really do about that, unfortunately, the way this dude plays. Just hard off-ball, I'd love to see it, right? Um, hit the corner, nothing there. He just can't beat hard off-ball off the dribble, and that's what I'm trying to do here. He's just not a, not, not a card who's going to really be out there doing that too much. Gets to the rim there, gets himself standing up perfect. Very nice. We did, we're able to get downhill. He can beat hard off-ball off the dribble, I guess, sub, but... It's just it's just a release. It, it kills cards, man. We're at the point in the year where you just can't really get away with having a bad release. And I think Zach Randolph's release is downright bad. And I'm not sure he's good enough defensively to really quite overcome that. As much as the card interests me, I don't know why they switched there. Whatever defensive settings Anthony has on are not defensive settings I would like to run. I just... He, this is a card that had so much potential, but it's executed so poorly that he's just really mediocre. And if you get any sort of load up at all like that on the release, it really slows down his jump shot significantly. Good dish there. He steps way high. We'll take our dunk. But I almost wonder if it's a little bit too little too late at this point. I don't know. We might be able to win this game. If we can get ourselves a stop or two, we got a serious chance to win the game. Obviously, this dude's team is not great either. Good. There we go. Got a stop. Beautiful. Run the floor. Zach, can you fill with me, please? Um, I'm going to get it. Bring it up top. Same side burst. And I mess up the burst. Get downhill. He did not play the pop well. This dude just sits in the corner every single possession this whole game. This dude stinks. The way this dude plays is so lame. But it is what it is. Um... He's tired at this point. I, no handles for days on Zach Randolph as a base card. If you put that on him, that will definitely help when it comes to playmaking. That's a big reason that he's as gassed as he is at this point in the at this at this point in the game. But I'm just disappointed by the release. It really does kill what is otherwise a very good, very interesting card. So that's honestly pretty disappointing. What else is disappointing is when he goes up with a bad layup attempt and gets just a random foul call an RNG foul. It just. Mm. Yeesh, just another game that just makes me reminded of why I'm not playing this game very much, in all honesty, um, with the way that the gameplay is. I just think Zach Randolph isn't special. If you have James Worthy, if you're considering grinding for Rodman, obviously if you have any of the gambling-only bigs, but even if you have some of the other non-gambling-only bigs as small forward, power forward options, like as much as I would love to love this card, I just don't. He doesn't have enough going for him. With the way that his release is, he's just not that good. And that makes him very hard to like. The way this dude plays is so lame. He literally clicks off ball every single play as soon as I throw the ball to somebody. I'm trying to get a three off. I just trolled the game. Honestly, I just trolled the game and I lost and that's okay. I'm not too mad about it. It is what it is. This Zach Randolph card is completely destroyed by his release entirely the only reason we got two threes at the beginning of the game is because he left me wide open off the pop the release completely destroys what this card could have been because we're at the point in the year that it is hard to use a card that does not have an elite release he is a liability on the court in a lot of ways i think um because of that release he also is missing badges if you add those badges it will definitely help him as a playmaker a lot no doubt about that but at the same time I just think when you have a horrible release, and at this point, Zach Randolph's release is pretty close to that horrible range, it makes you really, really hard to use as an overall card at this point in the year. So that's just my opinion, and it's unfortunate because in a lot of other areas, he's a really good card, but just hard to get away with and justify that type of release. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.